All right, let's get started. So, moon. 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 This is, this is moon. Um, it's a game that I recently acquired. I, I actually, you can see there's a cartridge in here. North American folks would know that this is a digital download in America, but uh, I, I ended up importing a copy. Let me go get it. Where is it? I'm looking around my room. Where'd I put it? Okay. Walk over here to this shelf. All right. And it's still all splayed open for me opening the box and such. And now I'm getting my wire tangled everywhere. This is a bad beginning. Anyway. All right. So now I got it. So yeah, Moon. I got the... Uh, I ended up importing the physical version of this game from Japan. And I, I've, I've been interested in this game. I brought it up a few times in recent... I think Ghost of Tsushima. I think maybe something else. Maybe Shenmue. But uh, I've been meaning to play this game pretty much since it was announced for localization in the U.S. I think sometime last year, and it came out last year, I know that. But I just haven't been able to get around to it until now. And I got it. Got the collector's edition. It's very nice. And uh, it comes with a bunch of goodies, like a Moon Note, which is like a dev diary almost. It's kind of an art book and kind of a lot of information and pictures of the development of the game and such from like all the art assets and such but also a lot of editor notes and developer notes and uh yeah i'm, I'm excited to play this i've been kind of tossing and turning like am i gonna play through this am i not and the fact that i'm recording this now means that i'm actually gonna play through this game and uh commit to it because it's not a long rpg and this is an rpg kind of it's it's kind of like Undertale a little bit, although this predates Undertale by about f nearly 20 years almost, where you don't, apparently, I know very little, <laughs> I know very little about the story plot of this game. I've looked through the art book, the characters look interesting, it seems to have a mechanic in the game where you don't have to kill anything either, which is reminiscent to Undertale. Well, this game would have done it first, if so. Well, before, I have no idea what the first RPG where uh, you don't kill anything is. Maybe it's this, maybe it's not, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm just rifling through all the goodies this Collector's Edition came with. It comes with, like, these art cards and a music... It came with... This is the weird part that I don't think some people who... If they were to get this would understand, but there's a bunch of art cards in, like, this letter packaging theater guide card imaging moon imaginary moonscape it's, all this stuff looks extremely fancy but uh, it also comes with a cd and this cd doesn't contain music it contains like a read through story of the art cards and such in japanese well in like it, it, the text is all in japanese on the art cards and on the back of this but uh, the audio is like the fictional babble language this game uses or something, is what I understand. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm, I'm charmed. I'm very charmed by this game's aesthetics, concept roughly, and just the... I I'm intrigued. I want to know what this game is. That's why I bought it. That's why I imported it. And that's why I have it here today. And I've not played it yet. I have booted it up and seen the intro sequence. And it immediately uh, caught my attention. It's like, oh, yeah, if I play this, I had to stop because I was going to play a little bit of this on my own. But uh, I was like, okay, no, this is something I need to, like, do, not just have fun with on my own. So, yeah, I'm out of breath from talking so much now. Anyway, so, we're going to get started with this. I was kind of planning on doing Spirit of the North, but I'll skip that till maybe winter or something, maybe. I have no idea when in the heck I'm going to get to this game. But yeah, Moon. This game is already kind of getting on my nerves with it being lowercase. I'm not sure when this goes up on YouTube. Whether or not if I'm going to make it uppercase just to make me happy or keep it lowercase. I'll, 
I'll figure that out. Because uh, this already seems like a nudge, nudge kind of bugging you intentionally kind of move compared to it's improper grammar. Anyway. Yeah, Moon. I have rambled enough. That is the preamble. I'm going to jump into this and just see what this game is. Because I know very little aside from the character designs and some of the location designs and that's about it. I don't know the plot really at all. ASCII Soft. Yeah, this is a game by Love to Lick. Uh, they don't put out a whole lot, well, they didn't put out a whole lot of games to the U.S. They put out a few, but not many. Most of them stayed in Japan. Okay. And I don't think I'm gonna need to do any tran- like, translation in the settings or anything. I'm pretty sure this is out of the box in English. Yeah, this is all the stuff I saw when I first booted it up. It's like this Final Fan- this is a shit post about Final Fantasy. This is taking the shit out of Final Fantasy and I love it. <laughs> the long backstories and uh, this the weird- just the very basic gameplay I guess they're kind of mocking here. Just like a faint heartbeat of darkness lurking within people. Love, love to guard, accumulated and synchronized. A ripple distortion of the moon's holy light. It's like it's making fun of this series, and I love this. Under the influence of this kernel of absolute darkness, holy undulate uh, converted into... I can't even talk fast enough to say this stuff, and it gets worse. The art is beautiful, though. When the wicked surge began to enshroud love to guard, the people whispered a legend in the language of le waves of righteousness. So <laughs> okay. I saw something about a hero. Uh, Moon! 1997, love to lick. New game. It's all in lowercase! All the- I don't- I don't think all, all the- well, all the text isn't gonna be in lowercase, but anytime, like, a naming thing is gonna appear, I'm gonna wonder if it's gonna be in lowercase. If so... Why? Put a little heart there. No. And yep! Uh, welcome back to Dragon Fantasy, the volumes of Westeria. <laughs> I never did go back to that game, did I? Well met, legendary hero. Nah, I gotta do a better voice than that. Well met, legendary hero. The evil dragon who dwells in the dragon castle has eaten the moon right out of the night sky. Only you can kill the dragon. Because you are strong, brave, and great. Please kill the dragon. Simple. Clairvoyant. And basic. Go kill dragon, bro. You strong. Yeah, I like how... Even though this is in itself like a shitpost of Final Fantasy. This, oh, oh, this. This was as far as I got this dog. A cra- a crazy dog draws near. A crazy dog wags its tail. However, nothing happens. The hero attacks. The crazy dog ran away. The hero did not earn any experience points. However, the hero is confident in his current strength. Good. Confidence is key to a healthy relationship with the inner mind. Man, he walks slow. It's almost like this armor weighs a lot. Pooty hui. What? That's not what birds say. 
Pooty wheat. <laughs> ah, this this game is simple already, and I don't know. It, it's giving me a a weird vibe. It's giving me a jokey nudge nudge wink wink kind of vibe, and I like this. It's charming. It's exactly the vi the vibe I got when uh, I I opened the packaging and started looking through the art book. I'm like, this is almost like. Like, it's being serious, but it is a kind of joke. It's not It's not entirely a joke. This feels... From the art book itself, I can see a lot of love and care went into this game. And a lot of thought. But, man... It feels like it's being a little self... Like, it's being quirky. It's intentionally being quirky, but it's not obnoxious. This is, like, good stuff. We'll, we'll see if that continues. I hope it does. I hope that... I really hope it does. What is in this... What, what is with this fountain? Is that like a... What is that thing? That looks like a little person in there. I'm, I'm leaning towards the TV now to get a closer look. What is that thing? It's animated, too. It's like blinking its eyes. I don't know what that is. It looks like a worm mixed with, like, a human head or something on top of it. I don't know, man. The hero is so tough and cool. What is this anime chef? Don't lose some... Don't lose to some dumb dragon. <laughs> Hey, hero! Counting on you, champ! This is a rare instance where I'm actually actively using... Uh, it, it makes sense. This game was for the PS1, but I'm using the D-pad, and I don't tend to do that with, uh, Switch games that are 2D. Ooh la la! Hero! So big and strong! That's right. That's right! This big metal badass out here with a sword and shield. Ooh! He gonna wreck a dragon's damn head in. Is there anything else out here? Can I enter these buildings? They're like blocked off or something. Yeah, those, those are straight up blocked off. I can't get in. But maybe they're doors? They're not? Alright, let's, let's go out on the adventure. Don't forget to always look in the dressers of in in, peace, in people's houses. Sometimes they have good stuff. Also remember remember to take that stuff. Okay. Can I get in a house? Or is there like a specific one that they want me to do? Oh, this dresser. The hero investigated the dresser. The hero found some items. Got legendary helmet. Got legendary armor. Got legendary shoes. Can I equip them? Is there a menu system for this? Because this is not the... This is not... What was that? I have no idea what that was. I, like, recoiled for some reason. There's no menu system in this, because this is not the actual... Like, normal gameplay of this game. This is supposed to be a parody. Uh... There's no menu system, so I guess it's just equipped to me. Let's- let's assume that. Okay, it's back to the save menu? I didn't even have an option to choose the new game. Rainbows bring about the world's rebirth. Okay. A slime draws near. The hero attacks. The slime's hit points have been reduced by one. The slime attacks. The hero's hit points have been reduced by one. The hero attacks. The slime's hit points have been reduced by one. The slime attacks. The hero's hit points have been reduced by one. 
This just ain't gonna cut it. The hero invoked the holy power. Thunder execute! Hooray! Yay! Clap, clap, hurrah. The hero is defeated the slime. The hero gets five points of experience. He's such a badass. Look at this legendary monster beating slimes with lightning and punching rocks. He's gonna be the next Chris, uh, Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield? <laughs> Chris. Crest... Crest Toothpaste. The hero senses an aura of absurd wickedness. The hero decides to change equipment. Equip legend... Okay, he's equipping that stuff now. There's... There's a rainbow. Evil rainbow! A holy rainbow arch appears before you. The wicked aura has vanished. Um, okay. I pass, I pass under the rainbow. Wizardry. I didn't even push any buttons for that. If, if you see this, like, the character kind of weirdingly, like this, like, finicking out and such and being all twitchy. For some reason, my D-pad's doing that. I don't know if I'm gonna need to, like, clean out this thing or something. This controller looks brand new still, and I've used it for four years at this point. I don't know why. Like, the, the right D-pad key is being a little twitchy for some reason. Yeah, once again, I can't choose anything. Playtime. I, I, I hope that's eight minutes and not eight hours. Who knows? What in the shit is that? Miss, do you own a hairy turtle? It's blue. Prickles! Prickles! Oh, what is this thing? Is it supposed to be a pork- like a- an unhair- an unporky porcupine? And, uh... Or is it supposed- I think it's supposed to be like a- a hairy turtle. <laughs> oh no! I'm picturing a skin-shelled turtle that's hairy! I hate this! This spike- no, it's spikes. Okay. This spiky critter's scary and gross. Hey, hero, can you do something? Oh, it's hideous. A paragon draws near. The hero attacks. This thing looks like a bootleg monster from some bootleg 80s ac uh, fantasy action movie. Something's happening. Is it evolving? No, it's splitting in two. The Paragon cloned itself. The hero attacks. It didn't hit Paragon A. Paragon B attacks. The hero takes 58 damage. The hero attacks. It didn't hit Paragon B. Well, what? Okay. Uh, Paragon B changed shape. The Paragon was an illusion. The Paragon attacks. The hero deftly dodges the blow. The hero attacks. Critical hit. The Paragon takes 142 damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm just squinting my eyes at this game and being like, okay, what 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 are we gaining from this? Honestly, this intro's gone a little longer than I thought. I'm not annoyed by it in any means. I'm just like, the, the, if this is a running joke, it's very good. But it is going on a bit longer than I thought it would, honestly. I thought we'd already be in, like, the main game. Dragon King. Okay, I think we're at the end here, then, with this thing. Playtime 20... 50, uh, 35. Yeah, I think this is... It's skipping through this fake game. So this is the end of this fake game. It's gonna be a Metal Gear Solid staircase, isn't it?
well, ladder scenario. Oh, it didn't go on as far as I thought it would. <laughs> I love the tiny sprites. That is very Final Fantasy. Oh! Yo, airship music! Let's go! Aw, oh, we didn't actually get some sort of airship sequence or anything. It was just, uh... Just a transition. Whoa, what are you? What are you? The penultimizer draws near. Yeah. The hero expertly flails. This did a suitably impressive amount of damage. The hero is gathering their strength. The hero ponders using their ultimate magic. Meaty... Meat... Meteor, not Meteo, or not Meteor, it's Meteor. Meteor. The hero has defeated the penultimizer. The hero has been promoted to the highest level. <laughs> Time to go against the real final boss. Oh, it's just a dragon. Welcome- Oh yeah, that was the beginning of the quest, wasn't it? They were talking about the dragon. Welcome, Great Warrior. I love how I haven't even played, like, played the entire, like, fake story of this fake RPG. And I've already forgotten what, like, the point of the plot was. <laughs> I would have really done that, like, probably 15 hours into, like, a real Final Fantasy. I would have had a moment of, like, wait, what am I doing here? <laughs> Welcome, great warrior. I am the dragon. I have waited long for one such as thee. Thou art a fool to challenge me. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter, man. We're gonna kick your butt. Now that is some authentic-looking Final Fantasy art. A dragon draws near. A chump such as thyself cannot defeat my likeness. This motherfucker just called me a chump. The hero attacks. The dragon takes 9,999 points of damage. The hero attacks. The dragon takes 9,999 points of damage. The dragon takes 9,999 points of damage. The dragon takes 9,900. The dragon takes 9,900. The dragon takes 9,900. The dragon takes 9,900. Hey. Go play in that game and go to bed. Oh, it's actually in English, kind of. Like, I, I know the dialogue has been, but there's voice acting. Yeah, stop playing a little PlayStation 1. Um, didn't I turn off the TV? Whoa. I oh, know we're, we're passing, we're passing through the channels. It's like in the early 2000s when the internet on TV specials was symbolized as being tubes. They could travel through tubes in inner space of the internet. Instead, television's just a black void with panels. And we're falling. So this is Mare, Martian Awakens Romance. Uh, this is Ginta Tornamizu, who has been brought to the world of Mare because he wanted a better life than his crappy one in the real world and to have a fantasy adventure. We're gonna meet Bobbo, the little ball and cup toy hammer. 
And he'll give us some snarky quips, and we're gonna save the world from the chess pieces. Dude, look at that sword. So was he thrown into the world of that game, or is this some other game fantasy world? Can I move? Oh, I can. Okay, that's me. Okay. Yeah, character looks pretty basic. I don't know why, but like he does have a, like the character design here does have some sort of 90s aesthetic that is very specific. Almost like a kind of drawing you'd see in like a textbook or something for some like like those edu like those math textbooks you'd get in school and such. This looks like some little random no-name character that would be used to like have like a quote explaining how a problem is solved or something. It looks like one of those. The main character here. He looks like, uh, he reminds me of those kind of weird, like, textbook characters. Literally a textbook character. <laughs> huh. I also hope the audio mixing is good on this because I have this set to my normal Switch audio levels, but who knows. I hope it's fine. I heard that at this rate, the world will cease to be. So the rumors were true. You mean about the moonlight getting eaten? They're sending somebody to kill it, apparently. Maybe we can finally live in peace after all. Bunch of cravens. Aw, poor Baker. I don't mind. After all, I... We got as many cowards as jacks in this town. Okay, so the talk about town gossip of, I guess, the world. The town gossip of the world. The time has come for you to depart. The time has come! You must quest forth to the final dungeon, the final castle. Quest forth! Before reaching level 2, you must gain 3,000 points of experience. 300! Hero, Godspeed. Okay. Is that dude using a crayon and is, like, just drawing? If that's what he's, if he's just using like some crayon and drawing, that is like one of the best kings I think I've seen. What did you say? I did not speak. Yes, what is it, your highness? I did not speak. I'm busy drawing crayons. I'm busy drawing purple cows. Minister, grab me the yellow. I'm gonna draw some corn stalks next. There he goes. Off to die. Let's me interact with the birds. Huh. Yeah, I still don't know exactly what to make of this because it's still throwing you into this, what, whatever's happening here in this world. 
That guy looked like a bona fide merch bonanza. Why don't you make some nice picture postcards? Hmm. There's got to be something that kids will go bonkers about. Ah, so you see to maximally engage your customers. What was that? I haven't a clue what today's youth appreciate. Uh, they like TikTok. They like... This will date this video immediately, probably. They like TikTok. They like uh, Harry Styles. They like... Uh, K-pop, I guess. What else is there? Um... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> don't you ever dream of making it big? Me? Of course not. I've never bothered with that dream. Curio, you sure are a go-getter. Uh, go what was- was that the knight up here? I- I was- I was reading the dialogue, but I think he moved by. And took out some of the birds, maybe. Yeah, it's, he's down there chasing a dog now. I feel like wacky times are soon upon us. Look at this idiot. Chase a stray dog. Is this the guy we want to trust to kill our dungeon? Our dragon? Oh, shambles. You do always speak your mind. I must say, I dislike such negativity. Dislike me all you want. You ain't a I ain't asking you to like me. Why, well, I never. <laughs> Why, I swear, shambles. How can you say such a thing? <laughs> Come on now, quit your wailing. This is why I hate kids and women. What the fuck, dude? I should quit your crying. Damn, Shambles is savage. He's as blunt as a hammer. Castle and Castle Town. This away. <laughs> I I don't know why I like that. This away. It's nice. It's whimsical. I like the graphic style here. It's a weird mix of sprites in like these pseudo 3D. I don't know if it's pre-rendered 3D stuff like Donkey Kong Country. It kind of reminds me of Clay, honestly. Or, like a painting, but then just kind of slapped on here? I don't know what, I don't know what style they use for this, like what technique. It's pretty distinctive. The only other game I can think of that kind of has an aesthetic technique like this, like kind of 3D rendered, yet 2D, would be Klonoa. I need to replay Klonoa sometime. <laughs> Hello, is somebody there? <laughs> Tao, honey, calm down, my little friend. Do you happen to be Turner? Turner, is that you? Who's that? Oh. My sweet Turner has come back to me. Where have you been all this time? Please, never leave your ga uh, your gra Gramby, your Gramby, all alone ever again. I have a Gramby. Uh, I had a feeling something was good. Something good was going to happen today. Now, now, come right over here and tell me all about it. Yeah, that that picture in the middle on the middle post is actually on, like the artwork for that is on the CD for this uh, special edition. The kid doesn't exactly look like the character I am right now, so I don't know what the deal is here. Like, it kind of does, but it's kind of not. The 
people in town thought you died, Turner. Not me, of course. I always believed that my grandbaby would come back. Mumble. Welcome back, Turner. Mumble. Snore. Granby has fallen asleep. Uh, do I just... Hop in bed? Sure. Darkness enveloping me. Turner, my Turner. Yes, that is that is that is the the, the name. What is that? Welcome to Moon World. All right, Granny, what LSD did you give me? I always believed that someday you would come here. I am the one who will guide you on your way. Do you know what the most precious thing in Moon World is? It is love. Sir, you have the universe on your head. The power to see the unseeable. The secret key to touch the untouchable. Only those with hearts full of love can traverse Moon World. However, your love needs time to ripen. And now we're Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. No, uh, that's the first game. We're, we're Tingle's... What was it? Road Trip of Love or something? I forget the name of it already. I haven't seen a playthrough of that game in like three years. You are level one. Love's Awakening. Thank you, good sir. Listen. You must gather love with all your strength and will. Then, you will cocoon yourself and become a butterfly. You must use your power to open the door of light. Now we're Kingdom Hearts 1. Now we'll wait. I didn't realize this game had so many influences on the industry. <laughs> we're Final Fantasy. Uh, we're Earthbound. We're Undertale. We're Kingdom Hearts. I'm getting a little bit of Katamari Damacy from this motherfucker here with the planets on his head. Now awaken. Devote yourself to the people of Moon. Let us meet again in another dream. Wink. Was that Jesus or was that God? Tao? Don't be so noisy, precious. You'll wake up Turner. Hmm? Good morning, Turner. I hope you slept well. Oh, yes. I put out your favorite clothes. Wait a second. Okay, so this is where this iconic outfit comes from. Here, try this on. How splendid, you've come back to me. Now you and I and Tower together again. I really like this character design. Just the hat, the shirt, the shoes, and the gloves. It's very Final Fantasy IX-ish to me. I'm, it, it reminds me of Vivi, but like, Ghost Vivi. <laughs> oh yes, your Granby baked you some cookies. Take one. Free homemade cookies. Where have you been? And what have you been doing? Your Granby was so worried. Though now everything is fine, because my little Turner came back to me. Oh my, yes, Turner. Could you go buy some bread for me at the castle town? It'd be just like old times. Here, take some Yanom. Don't drop it anywhere. Yanom? Got 150 Yanom. I guess that's the currency in the game. Okay, so what, what can I do? I can... 
Put my hands forward. Homemaker. Oh, okay. So why is the menu X? Uh, well, X is like the normal menu. Y is the item menu. A does the hand thing. The jazz hands. Jazz hands. And B doesn't do anything that I can see. L and R don't do anything. Gramby's coming out of the house. Run away. There was a slime? This has to be the most unintuitive and strange intro to an RPG I've ever played. Not in a bad way. I'm getting along just fine with it, and I'm understanding things, but it's not hand-holding you really in anything, and it's just letting things... You're a dead kid, you're here in this... You're dropped into this fantasy world you don't really know. And... What is that bird? I know I don't look like much, but I'm quite the intellectual. I ain't kidding. Wanna ask something? Yes. You're a good kid. Never let go of that curiosity. Hey, come to think of it, ain't you, Turner? I knew you were on your way here. I was thinking I'd wait for you here to tell you some of the stuff I know. Oh, tutorial bird. Hey there, tutorial heads. There's a lot you gotta know. So where do we start? Slightly... <laughs> I like this. Slightly important stuff. Somewhat important stuff. Extremely important stuff. Do you know what the most important thing in the world is? I was gonna say it's love, and he's like, It's love, my friend. Bubby, if you ain't got love, you'll stop breathing and pass the heck out. <laughs> That's a sentence. Oh, I like, I like this so far. It's weirdly charming. Then it's game over for your life. We have to reload a previous save. Hey, don't break the fourth wall yet. And you'll start from wherever you last slept. So keep that in mind out there. See you, buddy. Come on by my house sometime. You're always welcome. You own a house? You're like a pigeon. Also, yeah, you can get love from a lot of stuff just by walking around. Uh, I'm gonna ask this pigeon. I don't know if it's a duck, a pigeon, or what. But, uh, I'm gonna ask him more stuff. My name is Yoshida. Okay, he has, a, he has a formal name. He's not just the bird. My name is Yoshida. You shouldn't forget it. If there's anything you want to know about an item, show it to me. Hey, now I remember. Have you met the king? He knows a lot of stuff, too. I'm giving up on the voice I gave it. It was annoying. At least to me it was annoying. It was like, nah, this doesn't fit the character. Someone will get that voice. He knows a lot of stuff, too. I mean, not as much as me. But yeah, you should probably go meet him. See you later, buddy. I love the casual... The casualness that the dialogue has. It's not formal. Like, when you play a Final Fan... Like, if you play, like, Final Fantasy IV or something... The dialogue is so text-ish and formal and very specific, and some of the characters have it, have nuances to their dialogue that illustrates their personality, but this is like, hey, buddy, look over here. How's it going, man? It's, it's, it's all very informal and just kind of normal. There's a lot you gotta know, so where do we start? It's very much... It, it's very... Way more than Final... At least Final... I go into Final Fantasy IV because that's the Final Fantasy I prefer to play and really enjoy from this era of, like, Super Nintendo and PlayStation 1 and such. I, re I prefer Final Fantasy IV over Final Fantasy VI any day. Any day. I ran out of air there. Uh, but... Yeah, the, the dialogue here is just so much more casual. I like this. It's talk... It's I can say this and s not have to, like, try to enunciate and try to figure out how to say the sentence. They found this uh, weird stone in my hometown. There was some wild stuff written on there. Like, there was stuff about you on there. It said you were going to show up in a bunch of other stuff. Stuff. <laughs> this guy's talking like me now. <laughs> So yeah, that's, uh, that's why I said I knew you were coming. Hey, this is a pretty big deal, so don't forget about it, okay? See you later, buddy. I hate how this bird is kind of- He has hands! He has hands! <laughs> I'm running 
running away from this weird bird. It has hands. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. This this game is amazing so far and it's still very very early in it. Indeed, yes. The king is I. You require an audience. Talk to me after I feed my sweet little birdies. Okay, you're done. Oh, I, d I just ran through him. Okay. Who is this Pinocchio motherfucker? I'm Noj. I'm a foreign exchange student from Toyland. Nice to meet ya. Say, what kind of toys do you like? Video games. I hate toys. Gamers versus toy enthusiasts. Video games? You know, like GameStation. Hmm? Never heard of it. Can I borrow yours? Don't got one right now. Ah, oh, well, shucks. I'm gonna see what the other options. Yeah, this guy's straight up a Pinocchio ripoff. How could someone hate toys? You're weird. <laughs> oh. This is great. Time for my after time for my afternoon audience. If you have troubles or worries or problems, speak them to me. Ahoy! You're not of this realm, yes. How rude of me. I forgot our kingdom's customs. Here we trade business cards with new friends. Yeah, this one's mine. You got the king's card. Now, you want to ask someone something. Present that card to them. Press the Y button to open the menu. Move left and right to select the aid and press A to use it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It said I could eat it. Quite right, that's how you use it. No, 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 I want to eat the card. I say you catch on quickly. Any card you get, any item, can be used in the same way. How about you visit the town and ask the people about me? You can't eat this. Damn it! Fine. Oh man, this game is. I'm on, I'm on the roller coaster ride that whatever this concept of a game is right now. I am full steam ahead. Let's keep going. This is amazing. Okay, so he wanted me to talk to people. Why is my character, like... ...tired? There's that bird with hands again. I forgot about this thing. Yeah, like he's tired or something. I don't get it. Is there a stamina system in this game? Whoa, 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 what do you mean game over? What do you mean game over? What happened? Do I still have items? No, they're gone. Yeah, what? Oh man, I got to go talk to Gramby again. So... I don't see a health system on the screen at all. I see the clock up there in the corner. I think that's a clock. Okay, more cookies. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what the, what what what's the deal? What's the requirements of this system? 
that wants to kill me. <laughs> Like, I see that meter, and the only thing on the U for a UI that I'm noticing is that meter on the left that looks like a clock, and there's a blinking red dot in it, and a moon. And I don't know what the deal is with that, like... It's just a red dot, it's not even in the shape of a heart or anything. I think when that meter goes down to the dial at the bottom, the little red dial, because there's a little, like, clock ticking... Thing there. Maybe when that goes down, I just die? Like, what happens? Oh, my, Turner. No, it's not possible. Turner died. Ah, oh, yes, you shocked me for a moment. My name is Flora. I own the flower shop in the park. Okay, let me go back to the king again, maybe, and see what he's doing. I'm a little concerned that, uh, because the game's already been a little obtuse in its setup for this world. I hope the, like, life mechanic and concept of this game isn't really weird. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's this guy. Alright, kid. Mumble, mumble. Whisper, whisper. Mumble, mumble. Whisper, whisper. Can you finish feeding your birds? He keeps throwing the food at me. I'm not one of your birds. Cease this pranking at once. Those ancient and honorable shrubs have served this castle for generations. Treat them with due respect. What happens if I touch the flamingo? Okay, this again. Get your card. Let me talk to this dude. I see, he gave you his card. His Majesty has curious taste. The king's card is the mark of an honorary citizen, so consider yourself an honorary citizen. You'd do well not to abuse this privilege. Let me give you one of mine, here. I'm the minister here, I oversee governmental operations. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Got the minister's card. Okay, am I gonna start slowing down again? Yeah, I immediately, once I get out of here, I'm, like, slowing down. My dadsy was living in a... in the king's toy box. Okay, that's creepy. Uh, talk to this guy? Can I walk... I can straight up just walk past him. Uh, let me eat the cookies, maybe? That was it! I get hungry! Okay. I don't... There's nothing telling me, aside from his walking animation, that he needs to eat. I didn't know there was a stamina system in this for just walking around. Oh boy, it's Shenmue 3 all over again. <laughs> Minister, we pilfered your treasure. Eco.
So someone took. Uh, oh, and and I'm once again. I'm. Do I have any more? I don't have any more cookies. I'm really tired again. One use, ten yenom. Not enough yenom. I thought I had 150. Oh, didn't I have to talk to Granny again about that? You know, if I die here, which I probably will, I'm going to do what Gramby wanted me to do in the first place and just go get some bread, I guess? Instead of coming here to the King's Castle and doing this stuff? I have a feeling the character's gonna die any second now. Is it like a gas meter? It is like a gas meter. The dial got to the... Yeah. Okay. I see. Learning. Yeah, that's a very obtuse way, like a very obtuse health system. I wonder how that comes into play in like battles and such. It doesn't seem like the stamina meter goes down during dialogue, which is nice. Hopefully. I didn't see it tick down at any instance of that. So I gotta go get bread. I'm gonna stick to what the game is telling me to do instead of running off trying to do anything on my own at the moment. Is this a flower shop? That it is. I need to find that baker guy. There's the knight. This looks like a restaurant. Whoa! Such menacing music for that fellow. Bump, bump, bump. Um. Uh, who are you? Ah, Florence mumbles. Is this like an inn? I think it's an inn. Bar Wanda, open nightly. Suddenly, Italian cuisine music. Baker is over here. That looks shady. There's a bit. As if it couldn't get it more obvious. Baker 2. Baker 2. We're open. Come in. I need to give him a proper voice. Well, hey, Turner. Oh, I'm sorry. Turner is dead. Of course you're not in. Whew. I'm sorry if I startled you. It's just you're wearing the same clothes that Turner wore. Apologies, friend. 
I haven't seen your face around here. You a tourist. My name is Baker. I'm a baker. I bake hot, fresh loaves absolutely daily. I'm looking forward to your enjoying of my bread. Today's bread is as fresh as usual. Croissant or bread. Okay, thanks for the bread. No, now we go back to Gramby. Like a good Gram son. This dude's just sitting in the road. The music's in my left ear, so I'm gonna walk in here and see, like, why is there music. It's coming from this place, too. Okay. Have fun with your flowers, miss. Bird with hands runs into the sea. Yo, he fried that slime. So this is, uh, um, slime? It's burnt to a crisp. Okay. Hey, Gramby. Yes, I have the bread. Oh, a fresh baked loaf of baker's bread. Smells delightful. I got some love from that, I guess. Thank you for your help. So what do I do now? That was the objective. I got love and I didn't get anything else, so I don't know what to do. And my character's getting slow. I'm a little concerned. can't give it anything, really. Uh, I need to eat the cookies. Wait, no, don't. Okay. Eat them. Okay, that gave me a little bit more stamina. How do I... Oh, there's a music box. No, 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 no. I don't need to listen to the soundtrack. There's an extra inventory, I guess. Yeah, it's just so obtuse. It's like, what do I do? How do I? How do I give? How do I give this thing like love or something? How do I? Uh, how do I keep my stamina? What's going on? Do I just? Should I follow the knight or go back to the king? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't know what the what what's going on. I'm gonna go this way, I guess. I've been waiting for you. Humpst? Yes. Pleased to meet you. My name is Dolatole. I came from a faraway place just to meet you. So how does it make you feel to look at a, a little slimy here? It's quite tragic, sir. It's a monster, so... <laughs> I like that. It's quite tragic, sir. I don't like it. It's a monster, so... We gotta kick their asses. Yes, that's right. This is a tragedy. So sad. It's a sad state of affairs. 
little slimy here was just minding its own business. Oh, okay, yeah, it's trying. It immediately is trying to be the anti fighting game. Okay. And our hero, Blast. Blastburn, poor Slimy dead, with fearsome magic lightning. He's out there slaughtering animals and earning quote-unquote experience. <laughs> it's frightful. Rock and roll is corrupting the youth. Look, look, look. The animal's soul, sadly wandering forevermore. However, the truth is, you can catch that soul and bring it back to life. And that, friend, is where love is born. Only you can do this and stop forest fires. I cannot trust anyone else. This is our fate. Oh, there's a weird bat thing. <laughs> it just runs up, slashes it, runs away. Ah, it's too late. No one can stop the hero now. You are our only hope. Here, you'll need this. You got the animal file. If you find an animal carcass, press the A button to open its file. You want me to what? You want me to dig my little floating glove hands into these animal carcasses and... Like, put them into a manila folder? What, what, what are you getting at, man? You'll be able to read about their characteristics and see what they look like alive. You'll also find some hidden hints for catching them. Well then, I'm off, Turner, my friend. Let us meet again. He turned into mush. Cool. Sly- ooh. I get to do my old, uh... Dictoralism of, uh, reading. Encyclopedia information, okay. Slimy, a mollusk which juggle hops up and down as it moves. Jiggle hops up and down as it moves. Greatly enjoys when you pinch its happy little tip top part with your fingers. I don't like this monster. <laughs> I don't like that. Drakey, a new species of bat evolved from the pink bat. Nocturnal snoozes during daylight hours. Uses supersonic waves primarily during important family events. So, uh... What is this? Oh, night. Oh, okay. So we have a night transition. Catch! Rescuing Slimy. I don't know what's happening. Got a hundred Yanam. Okay. Is the bat still around here? It is. Catch! Rescuing Drakey. I think I need to sleep, maybe? Got 150, you know. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Gramby. Gramby. I'm outside. I'm outside. Don't close the door. Grammy, get out of the way! I need to sleep! No! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Oh! Is it gonna make me do the bread? Is it gonna make me do the bread and all that again? Oh, man. Oh, no! Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. The most bizarre part is I'm still really enjoying this, even though I fucked up a few times. 
Okay. Now I know the full sequence of events to do on this day. Okay, so this game is archaic in the sense that it is a trial and error if you don't know what to do. That's a, that's a smidgen, that's a little smidgen off-putting, but that's fine. So far, I'm not even upset that I've died a couple times because of a time limit. I can't believe I have to do all this again, though. So I assume I have to go in here. I have to have him do this. We're gonna go to the baker. bird with the hands. It's so unnatural and weird. I both love it and hate it. Okay, get the bread. Yes, yes, yes. I can't actually, I can't even like fast skip through all the dialogue. I have to read it and I'll, like go through it all. I'm having a stove. Sir, fire. Thank Property of the Greek. Having a stove. Property of the Greek. Mentality is developing. Seal of life. Seal of life. Okay, I got the bread. We're heading to Granby. After I check out whatever this thing is up here in the right corner. What is this? Sunrise Pearl. Okay, whatever. We're taking it with us. We're going to Granby. No, don't, don't use it. Eat. So I can stay awake a little longer. Yeah, I'm fine at the moment. I, I don't know if, if I continue playing this game and, uh, like, how annoying it's gonna be dealing with the stamina meter here. But... I don't currently know if I find this stamina bar, like this awake meter, more annoying than Shenmue 3 stamina meter or not. Like, I didn't find Shenmue 3 stamina meter too annoying. I know most people, at, that is like the key reason why a lot of people hated Shenmue 3, aside from like the fighting being a bit more clunky. That dog just pissed. Because I love Shenmue 3. I, I adore Shenmue 3 for what it is. And, uh... Like, I have the Collector's Edition. I have a Normal Edition. I have a Steelbook Edition. I, I, I like Shenmue 3. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I know most people's issues, which to me was just kind of eh, was, uh... The stamina meter and the fighting. And... I don't know if I feel the same way about this game stamina because if I were like if I were like some diehard Final Fantasy or uh, Kingdom Hearts player, any like normal RPG enthusiast, I would probably be mildly frustrated with some type of day like some type of sleep meter like this being in the game. It just seems very unnecessary. And a little annoying. I'm not sure if it's... It seems like it's built in to intentionally limit you from doing too much. That's what I'm going with with its game design mechanic right now. I don't know if that's true. I have no idea. Don't eat the bread. But yeah. That that is that is a game design quirk that is a little inconveniently strange to me. Oh, 
Okay, this guy again. I will probably get used to this. This guy's hat reminds me, makes me remind me of uh, Snufkin from Moomin. Here we go. There he comes. Bam! Ah, it's too late. <laughs> I love how he's immediately, as a ghost, seeing this is just screaming. Okay, yeah. And he melts. Okay, so I gotta wait for the ghosts to appear. I gotta catch them. And put them back in their bodies. And then I gotta go to sleep. I hear it. Catch! I don't know who this little alien friend is, but... Godspeed. Take, take, take the monsters away. Okay. Yeah, the, the, if this is like the whole day-night cycle for the first day, this is really like... Cutting it close. Like, they want you to do everything here. One after the other. There's no room for screwing around here on this first day. Where's the bat? Where is the bat? There's the dog. Where's the dog going? There's the bat. Catch. Come on, hurry up. I gotta go to bed. Hurry up, alien. Yep, yep, yep. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. I gotta go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Get the money. Go, go to Gra go to Gramby. No, what are you talking? Oh, it's even sooner this time. Okay, okay. I gotta prioritize sleep. What is this, the fourth time now? Okay, get up. I was- I thought I was being regimented last time. I gotta be hard as crap on this one. What? Oh, Rambi's photo. Okay, I didn't even know that was there. Alright, as with Uncle Shimura in Ghost of Tsushima, the final boss of that game, I'm gonna shut up and focus.
ilyen nagy... I will. Yeah, I'm. I'm listening now that I'm not talking and focusing on like the weird language that these characters have. I thought it was very similar to Animal Lee's from Animal Crossing at first. But just listening to it, there are actual words in here. This is like chopped up and mushed up English. Like there are actual full words I was hearing in there, like fire and other things. Huh. It's just a... It's like taking a paper document and it's like taking a book and putting it through a shredder and you're getting this language. Weird. This is the third time we have to watch this poor slime die. I want to give Granby the bread before she goes inside the house for the night. It just seems like it would be a bit faster. Alright. This guy's dialogue might eat up a lot of the time here. That's why I'm trying to speed through this. Because I do have a good... I've spent a good amount of time here so far. Uh, in time management. We still have plenty of time on the clock, but I don't know if this actually wears it down at all. Mushin slide away. No, 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 slime. <sighs> Crap. Okay, so I have those two. I wonder if walking around speeds up. I doubt it does. Because right now I have to wait around for these things to show up. Catch! Can't take him away. You're gonna extract him? I wonder what the love that you get from doing these things accounts for. Like, what is it useful for? Is it just is it just a MacGuffin? Is it just some sort of like thing that is supposed to push the plot in some way, or is like useful at the very end, or is it just like some anomalous thing that doesn't really exist but theoretically exists in the world, or what what's going on? Because I don't have an ability to use it in any way. At least that I'm aware of. No button does anything that allows me to use it to, like, increase time or use it on a character at the moment or anything. I don't know. I don't know what it does. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. 
Don't hurt me. No more. Okay, we're getting tired. Bat needs to show up soon. Once it becomes night, I'm going to the house. We're going to the house. Okay, we got in the bed. We got in the bed this time. Is that Elmo? Is that some weird Elmo up there? Okay, he's gone now. Now we're back to the Katamari God guy. Hello there, Turner. It seems we meet again. You can grow your love level in the stream. When you've earned some love, just go to sleep. Okay, so thank you now, Mr. Master of the Universe, for uh, explaining my question from five seconds ago. That way, you can grow your action limit. Then you can move about this world more freely. Let's see what love you've gathered today, Turner. You've helped out Granby. That is love. This is love. And the love from the souls of the animals. Slimy. Congratulations. Turner, your love has deepened further. Turner, you have reached love level two, love apprentice. For your next level, you'll need one more love. Love still dots this world. Please seek out the scattered love. Collect a lot of it, please. <laughs> it's so, so just informal at the end there. Please, collect a lot of it. Yo, that looks like a fucked up Elmo on that screen. It looked like an Elmo that was infused with bug snacks. I don't know, it, it had that kind of Muppety look to it, like an Elmo does, but it looked a little more weird. Whatever. This this game may is this game is certainly made by Love Delic if it's this weird. Okay, where's the bat? I have to just stand around here and wait for the bat. Oh, autom yeah, automatically my meter, you can see is a lot. Well, I don't know if it's due to the cookies or not, but I didn't have to eat any cookies today, so I think that meter increased purely because of... I can move so fast in this. Purely because of the love I got from the slime and such. Which for me raises the question, if you level up... Yeah, the, the, if I'm thinking about the con, like the struct, the game structure of this at the moment, and I'm just like, okay, so yeah, this is certainly, if this is going in the direction I think it is, this is certainly not a traditional RPG by any means. It kind of is an anti RPG <laughs> because like you, so far my leveling system is getting love by fic by like helping and cleaning up the mess left by the actual RPG character and such. So it's just... Huh. I don't think there is any fighting in this game. Maybe there is, but... Even the... I translated the back of the box because it's in Japanese, and it doesn't... It says explicitly that you don't have to fight anything in this game. I'm not sure if that's an option or if that's actually just the concept of the game itself. Where is this bat? I've already waited like a day nearly for this bat to show up. Let me take a look what's down here. It's the rainbow 
Rainbow Rocks welcomes you. History of Rainbow Rocks. This place is called Rainbow Rocks because of all the rainbow-colored rocks. Once deary, uh, dreary boulders alone composed this landscape, then one day a panoramic rainbow appeared. This rainbow is reliably vil uh, visible all year round. The pretty colors bake themselves into the boulders, therefore rainbow rocks. Thanks. Uh, Shyrox. Shyrox live in this region. They're a type of subordinate mul... Sub... Subor... Suburiate? Multi-arthropod. At a glance, a Shyrox appears to be a normal boulder. When it senses human presence for too long, it loses patience and moves aside. Have a look at the illustration of a rainbow on this board. The seven colors are lined up in proper order. Do you wonder if this order has some special meaning? Hmm. Where is this bat? Night. Come on, Bat. Are you even going to show up today? I think I'm going to have to go. Whoa, that... I thought I still had, like, another dial for that thing to move. Okay, it's a good thing nothing happened that day. Okay. Yeah, not entirely sure how I feel about this system, but it's it's not it's not making me annoyed. It's more just a little bemusement. It's just like, okay, this is a thing. Strange. We're just gonna go south. It's almost like this game is kind of a speedrun in a dumb way. Like, you, you have to get your tasks done and you have to do it in a certain amount of time. Is that a gun? This looks like a gun. Glatandra, beautiful only daughter of the owner of the Quita restaurant? This thing's a this thing's a person? A loyal customer called her beauty an advertisement for the shop. She mistook the compliment and now she wishes to become a literal billboard. Is she dead? Yeah, I think she was dead. Thworm. According to ancient legend, 1,000 worms algamated into one. What? Are, what is this overworld SFX? It's like farting and bomb bombs. Oh, that is that is disturbing. It's just a clown head. Elmo. A modest doggy, extremely con conscient, conscientious of other conscien what, conscientious of others' turf. They get claims no, yet yet cl can I speak English? Yet claims no territory of his own. How is this a dog? It's just a clown head. S 
semi-maru perching on trees and screaming its way of letting is its way of letting out the stress that builds up during its long life underground. So it's a cicada. Okay, yeah. That one isn't moving. Oh, I hear a cicada. Catch! Got the cicada. Yeah, this is weird. This is weird. Is that a tomato? Or a rock? It's another slime, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh. It was up there for a second. A bashful girl. They say she blushed once too many times and has been completely red ever since. Goes by the nickname Bess. I need to be like right here, turned around. Come on. Maybe behind? Oh, how? How? Let me get a little closer. How, dear sir? I'm just gonna spam it now. It's night. I am probably gonna die. How am I not catching that thing? Okay, we gotta go. I don't think I'm gonna survive getting back to Granby, but... Let's keep going. I see that I need... You You could say I need to quote-unquote level... How am I already dead? I'm. The meter doesn't look correct for what I'm expecting of it. Yeah, game's being finicky now. Like, when I expect, like, it's not going to the red dial on the bottom by the time I die. It's going right before it. So, I'm not expecting to die immediately right there. And I'm not sure if that's just because on, like, a CRT television, this would have been played on back in the day. It would look like it was or not, but it's not. It's not on this. On this flat screen 4K. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you kind of have to regiment this. You have to be like, I need to find the thing. Get the, uh, you need to find the love. So the cicada will show up on the tree. That slime, I don't know how you get that slime, because I was standing right next to it and it wasn't doing anything. Yeah, like, it's here, but it's like... It just goes away. I don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't let you get it. Yeah. 
That guy won't let me through until... I assume I can't pass through here until I get either all or the majority of these dead characters' souls back. I'm already getting it's already getting close to the end of the day again. Maybe I'm too used I, I keep I keep bringing up Shenmu but I think it's because that game has a day night cycle and stamina as well. There's the worm. It just ran away, I think. Yeah, I think I keep bringing up Shenmue because it has a day-night cycle, and 3 has a stamina system. But... Aside from that, there's virtually no similarities. There's the gun. I'm still probably gonna die, though. Glatandra? I'm gonna have to pass on the money, man. We gotta go. We gotta book it. I'm probably gonna die anyway. I know where it is now, though. It's behind the sign up here. Yep, I died anyway. You just... I'm dying way sooner than I'm expecting to. Most of the gameplay today has been kind of... Tr very trial and error. Uh, can you give me cookies? Thank you. Okay, now I know she has cookies for me. So I know where the cicada goes. I know where that slime is that I can't get. And I know where Glatandra is supposed to be. I feel like looking up a walkthrough before I play this game every time will be very beneficial to me. Just to kind of get a gist of where to look and what to do and to not waste so much time. <laughs> Okay, so Glatandra's supposed to be up here behind this billboard. I mean, I guess their descriptions, like... When you click on their dead body and read their profile, it gives you a vague hint of what it means. It's wordplay about where to find it. Like, Glatandra wanted to be a billboard, and she's behind this billboard up here. I didn't even think of this billboard when I read that. My only kind of annoyance is that I don't know when they show up. They just show up at random almost. Like, I don't know. It's annoying because, like, I'm walking away from this and I don't know if she's up here or not. And then the sunken cost fallacy sets in of I don't want to miss it. I got that. The day is already mostly gone. The cicadas here. Catch. Okay, got the cicada at least. I'm gonna head back.
There's a snake. Or the worm, I guess. Oh, I forgot I had the cookies, too. No, don't use them. Eat them. Okay. Okay, we got some more energy. It's night. Maybe Glatandra's gonna show up? Yeah. Catch. Now head back to Granby. Screw the money. Go back to Granby. We're gonna die. Maybe the bats here. If the bats here, that would be a godsend. I don't see the bat. One, two. Mm, bat. Shit. A dog. Run, run. Go to Granby. Okay. Save. <laughs> this is stressful. Oh, great. We get to see this guy again. That is love. This is love. And the love from the souls of the animals. Semimara. Glatandra. Congratulations. Your love has deepened further. You have reached love level 4. Love 2, 3. For your next level, you'll need three more love. Love still dots this world. Seek out the scattered love. Collect a lot of it, please. Okay. You changed the painting. Elmo's gone. Okay. Eat these immediately. Oh, the money's still here. Alright, that's good to know that money stays. I don't have to get it. Okay, what is your description? 1,000 worms amalgamated into one. That is not very helpful for a description. I almost caught him there. Does he keep going up, or did I miss my chance, then? What's with the bat? Okay, only shows up at night. I feel like I'm figuring out what Pokemon shows up when in, like, Pokemon Silver and Gold <laughs> at this point. They have time cycles as well. A lot of this... Yeah, so far this is a lot of time-centric stuff. Hmm. I 
I got it. It's a puzzle. I gotta block it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't go anywhere this time, man. Try it. Get screwed. Catch! Yeah! Worm, get! Thworm. Okay, so I need to figure out... I need to think a little more four-dimensionally instead of just try and catch the thing. There's the clown head. I, st I don't have any idea where... It well, let me read its description. Maybe that'll help. A modest doggy, extremely conscientious of others, conscientious of others' turf. It claims no territory of his own. Yeah, that doesn't make the most of sense to me. It's like it's a territorial creature of other things' territories, but it doesn't have any, so where would I find it? And I need to get moving. Maybe I'll run into the bat, maybe not. Like, where's the, the dog's just, I think the dog goes is I, the dog has to be involved with the clown head it has to but I can't get over there because I'm gonna die <laughs> maybe I can get the bat at least nope once again it's, it's getting too late there's the bat now but it's too late just a couple seconds too late man we're down to the nail. Even with the cookies, Gramby is in the rocking chair. Well, we got the worm. I, I feel like this is a little more slow going than I'm trying to take it. I think I'm trying to like get through this and rush it a bit too much. Wait, 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 I need the cookies. I need to get Gramby's cookies. I need the sugar. Thank you. 
I haven't even actually looked at, like, I'm, I'm trying to do this love getting thing at the moment, but I haven't even, like, fully looked around even Gramby's house or anything. Okay, so the bat is kaput, the clown head is kaput. Let me go, I'm actually gonna spend a day going into town and just looking around. The bar is closed, what is that thing? Oh, it's another dead creature. Yanam Frog has lived long in Fountain Park. Loves coins made of moon fragments. I don't have any coins made of moon fragments, I don't believe. So I'm not sure where I would get those. I could probably talk to the king now for the amount of time I have and get his card. That's something I kept trying to do early on but kept failing at. Oh, he's... Uh, I just walked past him. Ah, oh, Pinocchio's gone. Okay, time to watch this guy do this. She's pranking. Yep, I've already done this dialogue. Touch the flamingo. I don't know what this little bug hovering around me is. Not gonna lie, looking at it, it probably, if you were like to freeze frame it, you'd be able to see it, but, uh... It looks like it's using the same color palette as these birds here, so it kind of just seems like they took one of the bird sprites and, like, shrunk it down really small. Stop that. If you touch those shrubs, I will always come running out here. <laughs> Oh, okay, man, I get the picture. I, I get I get it's your game mechanic. That is what you do. Hey, King, you done with your birds? I think he is. Oh, there's Pinocchio. Yep, I just need your card, dude. So I got their cards. Let me talk to the guard. I, I'm, I'm just walking past them. But what do they say? I had fallen asleep. Okay. I guess I could just walk in here then. I didn't know if, like, if I didn't talk to them I'd get in trouble or something.
Okay, I didn't make it to the end of this hallway last time. This is the first time I died. What's in here? And once I find out what's in here, I need to leave immediately. Oh, it's this. I forgot about that. Ah. Huh. Binoculars. Space. Okay. I don't know what purpose that served, but neat. It's neat. Maybe it'll come into play later, or maybe it's just a little feature. Have I eaten the cookies yet? I have not. No, I keep hitting use. Eat. There we go. A little more time. A little more time. Purely to get home because we got a ways to walk. I wonder if you can get unlimited time. Like, the, the whole time meter has no... Has no effect on you. I doubt it. This seems like a core mechanic of the game, so... That's a very nice... Pond. Toss a coin. Not to your Witcher. Can we get the bat? Can we get the bat? Yeah. Catch! Finally! We got the bat again. Alright, let's go home. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, something I didn't expect this game to kind of require is patience. This really does require patience. What are these painting backgrounds? They're, they're very surreal and interesting. I'm going to try and get the clown head today. Because the dog goes over there at night. There's actually not much to do in Gramby's house. It's just the bed and talk to her or the dog. Thought maybe there might be something else in there that uh, you can interact with, but no. So this thing needs moon coins. There, oh, there it is. I can't grab it, though. Oh, maybe if I just drop money? Can I drop money? That's a sunrise pearl. That's not going to do anything. 
I need to find a moon coin? Question mark? If that's an item, I can give it to that thing and then catch it. Maybe it has something to do with the bar? I didn't see any when I was last in there. Let me try giving the ring to this girl. Maybe she'll give me the coin? That's just an off-the-wall, like, what can I do with this ring? What? Okay, yeah, she didn't take it. The only other thing I can think of this ring being used for... I haven't been to the shop yet. Maybe I can sell it and get some money or an item or something. The only other thing I can think of is... Giving it to that red slime in the field. But that would require, like, pinpoint accuracy. Compost. <laughs> oh, there's a there's another dead thing here. MacArthur. Chain smoker. <laughs> Affects the mannerisms of a great general. Uh okay. I guess I need to get a cigar for this thing. Well, now I've seen everything. If you ain't just some walking clothes. I'm Curio. I run this general store here. I do trade-ins, too, so if you got anything you want to profit off of, just let me look at it. My eyes will decide the price. That sunrise pearl? Wanda was freaking about having lost that ring. You should get it to her. Okay, so it's Wanda's, so the ring has to go to the bar. What do we got? That looks like a dildo. Or a nose. I can't tell which one. Tao's favorite. Fishing rod. I think... I'm gonna get the fishing rod. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hero bromide. Tao's favorite. I'm gonna get the bone as well, just cuz. I'm gonna get the bone in case I need to use it with the clown head in any way when the dog's over there. And I'm gonna get the fishing rod, because I think I need to use it at the fountain here. I'm going just completely off speculation. Like... Is this gonna work? Trial and error. Can be fun, but also... Curious. No, I can't use it here, okay. eat. No, I can't fish here. So Wanda is active at night. It's getting close to night. What's this dude's deal? I'm Shambles, and yeah, I'm a filthy vagrant. The heck is your excuse? He's like, uh, Trash! Happy salesman. Happy mask salesman. Happy, breezy, Bali Bali Island. A sip of liquor. A trip to heaven. Enjoy lovely vacating on Bali Bali Island. Yoshida Travel Agency. Okay, so the current... Situation is I need to get the ring to Wanda. 
I think I'm going to do that over the dog right now. Oh, that's playing music. It's like a music box. I, oh, I just had to offer a coin to the fountain and then this guy would come out. Fantastic. I didn't even expect that. Okay, we got the frog. Like, that makes sense, but I didn't expect him way over here to just wander out because of that. Okay, we can stay up late tonight, go to Wanda's, give her the ring, and see what happens. Hey, Wanda. How about a drink? Nope. Scram. <laughs> well, I got your ring. Oh, lordy. This is the ring that I lost over by the bakery many a year past. Well, I don't think you need it. It's mine, after all. Well, as thanks, let me go ahead and give you this MD I like. The mini disc? What? Listen to it if you ever feel like listening to something good. She gave me a Sony mini disc. What? <laughs> huh? So I guess she gave me a music track. Who is this guy? He looks like he's naked. My name is Bilby. Nice to meet you. I don't know what to say about him. He looks like some drunken, naked man. Alright, let's go see what's up with the dog. Well, I, mm, I don't think I'm going to have time for that either. Because by the time I get there, do whatever's needed and head back. Like, that's something I need to start on the mark of night. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna head over there as fast as I can with my little stubby legs. The rock's already gone, so the dog's already pushed it out of the way. Do I give the bone to the clown head? I don't know. I don't know where the dog went. It's not here. Ran back to Grammys. I haven't said much about the music in this game, because there's a little bit of music, but it's not very prominent. But, uh, like, I love this tune, whatever this song for Granby's house is. It's a very beautiful piano. You found Wanda's ring for her. That is love. This is love. The love for the souls of animals. Yaman frog. 
wypływają do serca. Być może. Będę mówić na dziś. Być może. Love level 7. Love Harold. You need four more love. Być może. Gdzie inni? Polskiego. Stanisław? Okay, interestingly now the meter is at the top, so I'm not sure if it's maxed out or what. We'll see after I eat this. It didn't move. Dog not want the bone? Hmm. I think the dog's sleeping right now. Maybe I'll come back later and see if it's awake and give it the bone. Maybe it'll wake up then. Well, but, well like if it's awake and such, may maybe it'll. What I meant to say is maybe it'll follow me. I was thinking of, like, bringing the bone to the clown head, doing something with it at the clown head, and the dog would, like, appear and initiate some reason for the clown head to apparate as a ghost. This thing seems to just stay here now. It's not really moving. Back. Let me read the description again. A modest doggy. I, this is so disturbing, man. <laughs> it's a, cl a severed clown head, and it's like, it's a dog. I can't give the bone to it. Okay, so it's constantly looking and behind itself, too, huh? Got it. I was watching the cycle. I thought that would work, and it worked. All right. And is there anything up here? There's this tree that has a mark on it. Florence and Wanda. What is that thing? Hey, you there! Are you Florence by chance? So like, the forest, right? It's living. It's an organism. Oh boy, we got a hippie. Punk kids go in there and like, carve messages on trees and such. It's like they're beating up the earth, their own flesh and blood. I just thought of the best voice for this and I hate it. It's like they're beating up the earth, their own flesh and blood. And uh, I was gonna say something cool here and forgot what. My big brother and sister are gonna yell at me down. Me go home now, bye. Who the fuck was that? I think it was Florence. I got love from that for some reason. Huh. Okay. Wacky characters. Who wacky effects? Let me check on this thing. Can it move finally? Will it move?
I'm not like the rest. I've got guts, see? I'm not shy at all. Anyway, see ya. Okay, he's still being a prick. And we have- this is like the last dead thing aside from that tobacco monster whatever in the shop. Let me go check on that thing actually, because I- I've yet to see any sort of drugs in this game. <laughs> it's- this is already a bit trippy in and of itself as a game. It's actually nighttime, so maybe not. Maybe I'll wait for the dog and follow the dog. There's the dog. Wrong menu. No, dog, where are you going? Great, right, now I'm going to be down here trying to find the dog. There. Oh, it took it. Did it take it? No, it didn't take it. You're ki you're kidding me. This clown head looking thing actually is a dog. I think that's a one chance thing. I think when the dog passes by, it makes this one appear. Okay. I think I'm done here then. I don't think it's going to come back. Huh. You telling me that thing that looks like a clown head is actually a dog? What? Okay. Color me surprised. This little... How did they do that? How did they make it look both like a clown and a dog? That is some optical illusion crap. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel uncomfortable about that. It's weird. Okay, I do now know how the clown dog works. Which is good. I don't know what the bone is for, for the dog. What in the crap, man? What is this visual? I don't like that visual, whatever that was. It was super trippy. Yeah, I don't like this picture. It hurts my eyes. Anyway. Alright. Continuing. Do I have cookies? I do not. All right, so the clown dog thing wakes up at night when the dog runs by. I have to keep an eye out for that. And then there's the question of, yeah, that one tobacco cigarette monster thing up here in the shop? I don't know. If you noticed a cut there when I uh, pause, it shouldn't be obvious, but uh, I had a little water break, had a little meal. Been playing for two and a half hours of this game so far, and I needed a little break to catch my catch my wind, have nourishment. <laughs> Is there anything else in the bakery? I guess he's not in. Baker 2. What about in here? Oh, he's sleeping down there. That's He, like, lives down there. Okay.
Oh, if you come in, though. Wow, you're here early. I just woke myself up. <laughs> yeah. Like, if he hears you going up the steps and uh, walking on the f floorboards and such, and he comes up here, huh? Huh. Fishing bait. Fishing rod. I mean, I guess I'll get the bait, because I'll need it for the fishing rod. Probably. It looks like a nose. So I'm not sure exactly what the fishing's about. <laughs> what does this say? Drum hum daily. Solar day. Front page news. The hero we have awaited has departed on his quest, and he is leveling up as expected. He's currently on level two. Our inside sources believe it's only a matter of time before the hero reaches the dragon castle. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take him a long time at this rate. Let's look around this building. I haven't looked, like, off to the sides. Is there a way to get around it? Uh, oh, I can go behind it, yeah. I didn't expect that. Why is there a cage? A note. I'll be back later. Whomst lives in here. Is this where that bird with hands lives? That's the only thing I can think of. Weird. I didn't expect to be able to walk behind the building. Also, during my break, I didn't look up any walkthroughs of this game, so... We're still kind of just doing this. Like, I, I think I said it, uh... In Ghost of Tsushima as well. But, like, there's only one other full playthrough. There's, like, one or two other full playthroughs of this game on YouTube at the moment that I was able to find. Everything else for this game is just, like, reviews. You know, like, those ten-minute videos of someone who played, like, I don't know, five hours of the game and now wants to, like, give an impression of it or something. There, There's tons of those for this game, but there's only, like, two other play, like full playthroughs of this game, which is weird. At the moment, of course. I don't know. I, I've talked about Ghost of Tsushima or Shenmue or whatever as well when I brought it up. It's just like, I remember when they showed the trailer for this game, coming to the Amer uh, the Americas, finally, fully translated and everything, because it hadn't before. And uh, everyone was super excited, it's like, oh, it's Moon, it's Moon, it's like Earthbound and Undertale and such, and it's like, then it came out, people played it, people bought it. And it was just kind of vanished. Like, it was like, yeah, people bought it, played it. They talked about it for, like, two days or so. And then, uh... Then even I forgot this game came out. For many months. I only remembered this game came out a few months ago. And I was like, oh. I kind of... I forgot this came out. I want to play this. And uh, now I am, finally. <laughs> and so far, I am enjoying my time with it. It's a little perturbing at times with the time system, but... The more, the more I'm able to, like, do, first off, it feels like time is passing faster now for some reason. But the, the more time I have in the game, the more I'm enjoying it. Like, the more, the more the limitations aren't annoying me as much. Let's go check if that cage has something in it now. <laughs> Yeah, this is where he lives. Evening, Turner, buddy. You're out late. How are you getting along? I'm getting by. Can't get enough love. That sounds like an Elvis song. Can't get enough love. I hear you, buddy. Sometimes we all gotta do as best we can. It's the best we can. I started my business three years back, long time ago. 
I got a letter from the king and I set up shop here. Hey, you ever thought about traveling? Hey, if you ever want to go on a trip, I'll take I'll take you. Yeah. All right, let me take uh, take down your reservation. I'm gonna get you a good seat. Yeah, this is gonna be a good trip. Meet me in front of my offices tomorrow at sunrise, and we're off. All right. You could always just loiter around here until morning if you wanted to. Remember, if you're late, you're gonna cancel your reservation, so don't miss it. I get to travel. Where are we going? To Disneyland? Oh, I forgot all about the dog. I need to go. I need to go back and uh What was I heard the UFO sound? Hmm. I missed something. And I don't know what it was. Whatever. So at this point, I'm just going to be, like, repeating processes, I guess. I'm just going to go back to Granby and see what this bird has to do in the morning. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be repeating these processes, trying to get these things done until we make story progress. Uh, as for me, since I finally have a chance to just kind of ramble, I guess... I've been listening to... I've been digging through and listening to Jack Hughes' discography for the better part of, like, a, two months. And... I really enjoy this guy's stuff to an extent. Now, for those who don't know who this guy is, I need to get the cookies. For those guy, For those who uh, don't know who this guy is, he is the lead singer of Wang Chung. Um, you know, the song, Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody have fun tonight. That song from the 80s. And uh, I always wondered, because a lot of these 80s singers, like Rick Astley, John Hughes, uh, what's-his-face from XTC, his name's avoiding me for some reason, I forget it. I don't know what... Uh, I used to know it a lot. I listened to a ton of XTC earlier in the year. But uh, these guys from these, like, one-hit wonder-ish kind of bands, like, Rick Astley was kind of a two-hit wonder. And XTC as a band had a lot of, had a dedicated fan base and a lot of good, solid, great new wave music. And Jack Hughes and Wang Chung and such in general. I don't even actually know who the other guy in Wang Chung... I forget what his name is. But I don't think he had much of a career after Wang Chung. I think he kind of has stuck to Wang Chung. But Jack Hughes, the lead singer... I always wondered, like, what did that... I loved his voice. I loved his voice just in general. And I was wondering, like, what was his career... Like, what has he done? Aside from that album, Mosaic. And there's the earlier stuff that he did with Wang... Well, that Wang Chung had done overall. And then they put out Hotter Side of Cool. And that was a solid, pretty much last Wang Chung album in 98... No, 89. And... On the other side of cool... It was like, it was like they tried... It almost was a little bit more... From going transitioning from a new wave pop to a new wave rock thing, kind of like in excess a little bit. So in excess is kind of this new wavy rock band. They were they were massive in the eighties and nineties, but uh, and recent. I talked about them early, like way earlier in the year as well. They had a bit of a resurgence somehow in like modern pop culture around like January and February. I'm not they didn't release anything at that time. There's just I was just their music just kept coming up on modern channels more for some reason and people were talking about them again. I don't know, it was it was weird seeing XTC uh in excess kind of pop up again on the uh public eye. <clears throat> anyway, I'm sidetracking because uh 
I'm scatterbrained sometimes. Yeah, Jack Hughes, the dude has a great voice. He can play a guitar, and I like his soundscape. That's the big draw for me for his music, aside from his voice. Is that, and his, his lyrics can be kind of hit or miss. His lyrics really are the differentiating part of his music that's like, this is a great song, this is a bad song, this is a great song, this is a bad song. Is His lyrics can be very simple and kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? What is the word I'm looking for? I think I said it way earlier in the year for Stephen Wilson's The Future Bites. It was, it was just a bit too on... They're just too on the nose for lyrics. Yeah, it feels... Now that I have more time in this game, it feels like time's moving faster. Maybe that's a metaphorical concept based around time flies and how that actually happens as you get older and such. I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, I've... I've, I've, been, I've the Future Bites so far is still my favorite new album of the year. And I really, 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 really enjoy it. But some of the lyrics in that album are just a bit too on the nose of like, yeah, technology bad. Yeah, consumerism bad. Yeah, uh, social media bad. It's like, it's it's a bit too on the nose. I forget the word I used for it, but there's the dog. So if I run by here, I should catch the clown. I think I missed the bird appointment, which is fine. Oh, he sniffs and pees, and then it summons the other dog. Catch. Got it. I finally got the clown dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like a clown head when it faces front. I see what looks like the neck is actually a leg. Oh, I hate it. That is a heck of a visual effect. Okay, so all that's left is the cigarette thing in the shop. But, yeah, I, I, I enjoy The Future Bites. It's a fantastic album. I know a lot of people are kind of diver uh, divisive about it from uh, Steve's fan base, and I don't really care about that. I just enjoy what he makes. But, anyway, Jack Hughes... I like his soundscape a lot. His lyrics can be hit or miss. But if I were to visual if I were like to give a metaphor of his soundscape compared to other artists and such, I would say as like a physical object representation of how I visualize the soundscape, it's very much like a marble. It's very much like a very smooth kind of it's like one of those clear marbles that have, like, a little wavy pattern in them. It's very much that to me. It's very pure, very simplistic in its lyrics most of the time, but very creative and intriguing. And I don't exactly know why that's the visualization I have, but it, that visualization really hit me with uh, his Taser album. Uh, Taser Up, I think it was. That one came out in 2012, I believe. Elmo. And Driving You is one of the best songs I've heard this year that I've listened to brand new. And I really like it. It's a very simple concept song, but it sounds like a modern 80s new wave song. And you don't hear a lot of authentic... 80s sounding new wave in the current era. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, this is good. It's like listening to Thank You Scientist. It's like listening to great, authentic jazz fusion. And I, I love how Thank You Scientist is doing that with their progressive rock and such as well. It's just a beautiful mix. To in this day and age, finding good music, you kind of have to dig for it. <laughs> but, so yeah, so I'm digging through his discography, and I'm surprised the guy, for as famous as he was for that single in the 80s, he didn't have much of a career. Like, like he has a career still doing his music. He just put out a single 
a few months ago, actually. I th it's mainly centered around, like, the pandemic and such, which I think Ben Folds did one last year as well like that. Just put out a single about, you know, kind of current life kind of sucks because of the pandemic and such. A very simple, just like, yeah, things are rough, but we'll get through it kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, he, he didn't have much of a... He, he didn't he lost the limelight uh he had that single the next album after that was good it got on the radio for a brief period of time with the lead single and maybe something else i'm not aware of and then he teamed up with tony banks from genesis the keyboardist and they put out an out they put it sounds like a great pairing in the mid 90s he, I, i'm just gonna pause the game at this point because the clock's ticking so, Tony Banks of Genesis and Jack Hughes put out a collab album called Strictly Inc. And it was, it's a great sounding concept. You have the keyboardist with his enigmatic and energetic and creative keyboard synthesizers and all that. With the new wavy, ballady sounding bass tone of Jack Hughes. It sounds like it'd be a good pair. And it doesn't exactly work well. <laughs> I like maybe one of the songs on the album a bit. I don't even like it a whole lot. It's good. Like, it's good. But it still has some... Eh, to it. It still has some... Eh, that could have been better to it. And that the problem is, is Banks's keyboards and synths are so... They're so energetic and dominant they are extremely dominant synths and keyboards in the entirety of the album they're very the mu it's very good music but then you have jack hughes singing really really shit lyrics that i think banks himself wrote if i'm remembering right from my research i believe banks wrote most if not all the music for that album and it's all just like boyfriend girlfriend breakup relationship weird just kind of like this teenage kind of uh, s like melodramatic stuff. And it's Hughes has a few songs like that in some of his own music where like uh, what's the song? It's on Taser Up. Let me let me bring up the album. I have it right on my phone, actually. Yeah, Taser. It is Taser Up as well as the album name. Overwhelming Feeling. I love the song Overwhelming Feeling on Taser Up. And it is just a ballady song about a guy. It, it's the story of Orpheus and such about how if he looks at the girl behind him, she goes back to hell with uh, death and such and whatever. Or uh, Hades and such. And it's a, it's a good it's a good musical song. Hughes sings really good on it. The story of it is quality if not a bit overdone in greek mythology but it's a good song and it's the same premise but the problem with strictly ink is that it's all really just kind of bad <laughs> i don't know why the execution's just bad in the lyrics it's just badly written and uh you have banks's keyboards going in such and such energy but then you have hughes's kind of ballady singing of this and it doesn't mesh you'd think it would work kind of well but Banks's keyboards are so strong and like dense of a sound that they're, they're striking. That's the best word. They're a very striking sound, and it doesn't mesh well with Hughes's ballady new wave voice. You would think it could work if ba it could work if Banks let up a bit, but he was relentless on that album with his keyboards for some reason. So uh, that album was actually never released in the U.S. because they didn't expect it to do well here, and rightly so. I think that was a smart decision avoiding a release here for that. What in the crap is that thing over there? You see that? that what is that thing? Okay, that's new. So I think they were smart in not releasing that here, but uh, can I get to that thing? No, oh, I don't think I can yet at least. But, so that that's a little gem that has virtually been forgotten the time of an album. That album, there's not even a proper upload of it on YouTube or anything from, like, Banks' own musical 
accounts and such, or Hughes. And yeah, it's Strictly Inc. has mostly been forgotten to time as a 90s album, concept album that just kind of came out with shit and everyone forgot about it. Uh, then I don't believe Hughes did much of anything until the early mid-ish 2000s when he started his own solo group, Jack Hughes and the Quartet, I believe they're called. Yeah, it should be Quartet. And it's in, it's a jazz group. They, d they started doing uh, jazz. And it's some pretty abstract and decent stuff. I like the theory... What was it? Let me pull up my phone again. I have all this music on my phone, so... Uh, the the a Thesis on the Ballad. I like that one. That was the 2015 album. That one's really good. And there's also not a proper upload of that anywhere on YouTube either. <laughs> I don't believe there is anywhere except for iTunes. But, uh... Yeah, so I've just been digging through all this stuff. And then he put out a actual just solo album. I think this is his first, like, pure solo album. He put out a solo album last year, actually, called Primitive. Primitive. It has a blue cover with a weirdly drawn face on it and such. And I've been listening to that for about a month now. And I really enjoy it, actually. It's It's got a mix of his jazz stuff. But it also goes back to an amount of the... It's almost like a progressive new wave thing. It's more art music than it is rock in any way. It's much more art music. Kind of like Radiohead in a way. But it's infused with new wave, very obviously. And it just sounds like a marble. It sounds like acrylic glaze on a vase or something. It's just a very clean, creative, and yet kind of solaceful coldness. There's a... I listened to the whole album... I've listened to it a few times, and, uh... I don't know what the undertone of the album is exactly... Like, every album is... Every song on the album is kind of, uh either a little poppy and then it kind of like a new wave poppy and then it kind of goes into this ambience and such a lot of this a lot of the ending parts like within like the last minute to 30 seconds of each song almost i don't think it's every song but most of the songs on this album end in like a weird demented like kind of twist at the end of not not like something immediate it kind of just warps into this kind of negativity at the end, and I don't know what the deal is with that. My favorite song on the album has to be Winter. It's a pretty long song. It's like... Yeah, it's 9 minutes and 50 seconds. And it is a dark song, and it's really, really well done, though. I have spent this entire day doing nothing but talking about Jack Hughes. Okay. <laughs> But uh, if you like new, Wa if you like listen to that song, everybody have fun tonight. Uh, if you like his voice, I'd recommend maybe listening to the warmer side of Cool. That's the album after that. Maybe listen to the title track of that. That's my favorite on that one as well. I think that was put on radios as well. It's pretty forgotten at this point though. And uh, yeah, that's a sh that's a set. I f I feel. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a little disheartening seeing this guy's career like that. Like, he got, he probably, he probably, not to say, like, you know, he lost his money, he lost his job. like, no, 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 no. He probably, I don't know if he did or not, but he probably made bank on that single and probably still gets a lot of royalties for it. Uh, and he still does put out a lot of music. He puts out music every, like, three years or so like a normal musician does. The thing is, is nobody pays attention to him, it seems. It seems like he has a really dedicated fan base. Oh, we're already back today again. Okay. It seems like I'm going off of all of the streaming and like YouTube, band, uh, not Bandcamp, uh, SoundCloud, and all these other sites that have his later music that is not either not Wang Chung or even just general. Like, Wang Chung, like, Taser Up was not a very popular album. 
I think there was one song on there that did get on the radio very briefly, but it didn't last long. But uh, he has a dedicated fan base of around like 40 to 150 people, and that's about it. That's that's literally about it from what I've seen from the statistics of his view viewing rate of his music online. Is it's a very small niche fan base that has kind of clung to his music, I guess. So I don't know if that's depending on your viewpoint. That's either a very nice thing, a very cute thing, a very sweet thing. Because some people view like a sm like maybe he doesn't need all that fame. He'd probably love the money, but uh, I don't know. It's just this. It's a little uh, strange to see someone still with that's with that big of a name and that big of a cultural, normally viewed impact of the '80s to then just kind of have a really small after career after that. It's almost like Huey Lewis in the News. It's like everyone knows Huey Lewis in the News, but they or even Rick Ass even Rick Astley got like a bigger career after after his singles in the 80s like he, the guy as much as you don't hear about Rick Astley, like, modernly anymore for, like, what he, what has he done in the past, like, ten years or so, the dude's a big-time musician in, like, the Christian market. <laughs> he makes a lot of, uh, Christian, like, pop music and such. He's very religious. And he's- the, the crazy part is this, he still has a fantastic voice. He still has that bass- he was 19 when he sung- uh, God, I, I'm actually forgetting it. Never gonna give you up. How am I forgetting the name of that? He was 19 when he sung that song. He still has that solid bassy voice, that new wavy. He he still got that. He still has it, and he's like 40 or 50 or something now. Singing about Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, it's just uh, it's weird to see someone who should have had some sort of bigger thing because he has a great voice i really enjoy this dude's voice and his lyrics are all right it's just strange i don't, I don't know that that's that's just a weird like what happened kind of thing i have about it. it's like why didn't this guy become a rick astley why didn't like he he why i don't know instead he's just playing jazz and Doing some shows here and there and having a pretty modest career. A pretty solidly modest career, which is fine. It's totally fine. In fact, the fact that he's still doing music is fantastic. <laughs> I'm enjoying this recent stuff he's put out. So here's the thing. I, I need to find out, like, where do I get, like, a cigarette in this game? I can't believe I'm saying that while playing Moon, of all games. Where can I find a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only thing I think I can find to, like, wake this thing up. This is the last monster I need right now. Affects the mannerisms of a great general. MacArthur. Maybe I need something military-wise? MacArthur sounds like a very military name. He's a chain smoker. It's like a general parody or something. I'm not sure where I would find something like that, though. Let me go to Wanda's. Let me go over to Wanda's. Oh, it's night too. Fantastic. Wanda's will be open. Because Wanda's is a bar. They would either have alcohol or tobacco. Oh, look at that little jerk. He just walks through 
this environment. He, he clips through this invisible wall and walks over to his cage. The jerk. <laughs> anyway, I've rambled. I recommend listening to the dude's music. It's good. It's good if you want some sort of more thought-provoking, ambient, jazzy, weird, new wave kind of stuff. Hit me. Orange juice or a bloody Wanda? Can I get drunk in this game? <laughs> this the hero dude stole her laundry. Oh, her lingerie. Her underwear. What the heck? What are you doing in this dark room all alone? You're creepy lady. Got Flora's MD. Okay. It doesn't seem like there's much of anything to do at Wanda's, actually. So, let me negotiate with the bird about the travel again. Because it didn't show up. So I have to be here in the morning. Okay. I think I kind of see what they're going with with the clock meter as well over there. Like, they're, it doesn't really look too different all around, but I think I see the four separations of the time. Like, you have the morning in the top right, then you have the afternoon in the bottom right, then you have the evening... In the le in the bottom left, and the I'm stuck behind the sign. And the night in the top left. It's only it's only differentiated by slight hue changes to the meter itself. It's barely visible for me, and I'm viewing this on a big monitor. I don't know how you would possibly see that on CRT. Okay, take cookies. We gotta go see the bird. I do wonder what the blinking red light in the meter is, though. I get that the symbol that's in the meter is supposed to represent the day of the week, I guess. 
But I don't know what the red dot in there is. Is that like the seconds? Like the bing, 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 bing. Is that, is that gonna... Is that like milliseconds or something? Where's the bird? I'll be back later. Did I already miss this motherfucker? How? It's morning. Alright, let me think of my options. I can explore more of the castle, I guess. There are more doors and rooms I haven't really been in yet. I don't believe, unless they're closed off. So, let's go do that first. <clears throat> I'm Bilby. Oh, this is, it's this guy. When we saw him at Wanda's, he was just unarmored. My partner Fred won't stop falling asleep on duty. Oh, it's Pinocchio. I'm Noge. I'm a foreign exchange student for toilet. Yeah, da, 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 da. Uh, video games. You know, like Game Station? Uh, sure. I got a toy. He gave me a toy. You're my best friend now. I can get- okay, I was wondering if I could get into these rooms or not. Maybe there's more monsters in here? There's nothing in here. Whoever lives in this room really likes music. King Carefree the Twelfth. Yeah, he's pretty carefree. He draws with crayons and feeds his birds in his courtyard. <laughs> I think this is the king's room then. The King's Sketch Diary. Oh, he actually uses crayons! My World Reformation Plans! Hundred Bird Flock! Operation Fly Us to the Moon! Big Fireworks Display Project! Oh my god, this guy's a kindergartner, what the hell? This is funny. <laughs> He's gonna fly away in the air with his birds! Create a rocket to the moon and have a big fireworks show. What a character. It's almost like he's Elon Musk. What is this? History of the Kingdom. Blaze Day, seventh day of the 13th month of the year of groundwater. A mysterious natural disaster occurred, extinguishing the moon's light. That same year, a hundred calamities begat uh, calamitous turmoil. Echo Day, tenth day of the tenth month of the year of the Waterfall Basin. Execution of the White Feathered Arrow Ritual. Crescent Day, seventh day of the, se of the ninth month of the year of Wavelets. The Embarkation Ritual. Okay. Minister's Documents. World Reformation Planning Document. Selection Method. We will use a white feathered arrow. Mm. 
Minister, we pilfer your treasure. Echo. <laughs> I'm gonna go back out here again and see what's going on. Yeah, it's the dragonflies again. There's Final Fantasy. Uh, that, that's uh, I have two jokes there. So I was gonna say there's Final Fantasy X, and then immediately after that I was like, nope. There's Final. There's uh, Chrono Cross. <laughs> that's a PlayStation One game. So we got a house, a roof of a house, an island, and a planet. Or the moon, maybe. Is there anywhere else I can go on that balcony? It seems very restrictive. I can't go there. No, it's just up and down. All right. Let's try going back to the shop and seeing if anything is weird. Because it's nighttime now. I haven't been at the shop at night. Another random sub note that I just remembered. It was a few weeks ago. I had I, 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 I am a connoisseur of pasta. And uh, a few weeks ago I was in the store and found a box of Cheetos mac and cheese. It sounds disgusting, and that is exactly what is this? The alien went this way. It sounds disgusting and it looked disgusting, and I wanted to try it and see how bad it was. And it was bad. Not in like a, oh, I'm going to vomit kind of way. It was just, it tasted like shitty mac and cheese. Oh, he's smoking. Caught him. Yeah, so I needed to, okay, okay. I needed to catch the other guy in his hobby. <laughs> well, his addiction, I guess. MacArthur. Okay, that's the last one. So maybe I can go through that other rock thing now? Anyway, I tried some Cheetos mac and cheese, and it was bad in a generic way. It wasn't tasty. It, it tasted like really generic and bad mac and cheese. It, it was just kind of sad. It was like, ugh. It's just gross mac and cheese that has a bit of a Cheetos aftertaste to it. It's like, ugh. I don't like it. It's funny because I like, I've tried a lot of pasta and I liked the Chef Boyardee fake mac and cheese that uses whey instead of cheese more than that. All right, so we got this guy. What happens now? This is another annoying background to look at. MacArthur. I need one more love. How does that work? What else is there? Let me talk to Gramby. Okay, cookies. Nothing else. Hmm. So 
so basically I'm saying I don't recommend Cheetos mac and cheese. <laughs> it's really, really not worth like the three or four bucks I paid for the box. So what was with that other woman, the one in the woods? She brought up Wanda. I don't see, I haven't seen her in the place with... I haven't seen her in the restaurant with Wanda, the bar. What about with Flora? There's a harp? Oh, it's another mo... I didn't even notice this one. Harp flower. A stringed instrument like crane birds show its sympathy and it expresses its feelings in songs. If you hear a sad song, perhaps a harp flower weeps nearby. Do I give her the seed? Oh, does it have to do with the music I have? Yeah, I don't think the music's doing a whole lot for this thing. Stop. Because the, the music, I'm, this, this monster requires music of some sort. And it wants something sad sounding, and I'm not sure if the monster itself wants, it has to be in that room, but when she's in there, Extremely bum 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 ba da 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 da. It's just way too bombastic of music that's going on in there when she's in there, and I don't think the monster's gonna show its ghost until she leaves, and I don't know when this lady leaves. I know she leaves at night, but. Maybe I have to go out to Rainbow Rocks to get there? Like, to find this one? Hmm. I had some sort of expect like if if and that is the case if like I have to go down here and then you get the ghost and it uh, takes it away and such like it transitions to the other scene where it is and all that uh that's going to raise a few questions of how difficult getting these things is going to be in the future because I had a feeling that like every ghost for every monster was on the same screen 
which would make things a bit... It doesn't make things necessarily easier trying to get these things, but if you're going to partition them out to different screens all over the place... There. And it's nighttime, and I think I missed it. <laughs> Scott, I, I hit catch, and it didn't catch it. Damn it. I think I missed it, too. I think it's... I think it only shows up during the day. Well, now we know. Now we know where it is. But, yeah, if... if, if obviously, now that is the case, where we can have the ghosts be in different... entirely different screens away from their bodies, that's gonna make things even more complicated if the game wants to make it more complicated. We'll see. But so far it's been pretty consistent with having the ghost in the same screen, and that has been kind of a godsend for me learning how this game works. Ah, uh, yes. Look, I'm looking at the day on it, I'm like, ah, uh, yes, today is Wi-Fi. It's the middle of the week. It is Wi-Fi. Alright, let's head down to Rainbow Rocks and try to get this plant. Uh, da, 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 other circumstances regarding my days. Uh, I did rece finally receive the Skyward Sword acrylic panel that the My Nintendo Rewards thing put out. It's nice. It's pretty much identical in size and shape to the Hyrule Warriors Calamity one they put out last year. Um, except this one came with a stand. The other one didn't come with a stand. This one came with a little stand you can put it on, which is smart. <laughs> and uh, it's nice. I just have it on a shelf. Caught it. Catch. Mm, yes. Mm. Pizza, mozzarella. And it just flies away. I guess we have to go back and then it gets caught or something? Or maybe we just go in there and uh, there's just money there or something. Who knows? Let's go check it out. Let's go scope out the scene. But yeah, I got the panel and I finally <laughs> was able to snag a Zelda Loftwing Amiibo. I've been searching since the game came out for one and a few days ago I was able to snag one. And I'm happy about that because these things, there's, they're doing decent amounts of restocks for these in various stores, but there will eventually be a hard cutoff when you won't be able to find them in stores anymore. And I don't want to pay like 50 bucks to someone on eBay for one of these things. So I finally got one. I'm happy about that. Okay, they're doing the catch thing now. Okay. So yeah. Are there any other monsters anywhere? Reward Moon Fragment. Got 400 yen mon. Yen nom. So what did I get? A Moon Fragment. I have so many bags of cookies, oh my god. I'm gonna stay up all night from these cookies.
All right, so I'm going to talk to the bird, actually, because this is a good chance for me to... do whatever this bird has to offer in the morning. And if for some reason I die, I pretty much just have to go and get that plant again, and that's fine. I know exactly where it is, I know how it works. That's a fine thing to test out whatever this bird has to offer me in its services of travel agency-ness. Alright, I guess I can just ramble until it turns nighttime and the bird shows up. Uh, stretch. This is the first time I'm actively waiting around for an event I'm trying to... Oh no, there's a few times I'm just talking crap. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it's been pretty shitty weather here for the past week or so. It's been a lot of thunderstorms. It's been rough. It sucks, man. I prefer the sun. But no, we got darkness and gloom and boom and thunder. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so, so the, uh, bringing up again how this is the physical edition of Moon. I'm curious if North America will ever get a physical edition of this game. I picked this up specifically because I just wanted a physical copy of Moon. And... I don't know and kind of doubt if Limited Run Games or any of those other companies will put out a physical at any point. And I highly doubt. Uh, it is extremely doubtful, in my opinion, whether or not if it'll just get like a normal physical release. But I don't believe Limited Run or any of these other companies will just because of various circumstances. This seems like a kind of annoying game to license for some reason. And... Uh, yeah, it's also a very small game. Like I like I brought up earlier, it's, n it's not really... Like, it has a fan base, and they're dedicated, but it's not... It's not like a modern, popular, indie-level game. This is an old game in and of itself already, but it's not like an Earthbound where it made a massive cultural impact or anything. And, uh... It doesn't have a fan base as big as those games, like Undertale, Earthbound, any of these other quirky RPGs, I guess you could say. It's just, uh, it's a very specific one, it seems. It seems. I don't, I'm not entirely sure on that, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, I, it just, uh, doesn't seem like this game would get a North American release, a pr like a proper one. If it does, if sometime in the future, like, you're watching this and there's already been a release or anything like that, if there is, good. That is fantastic, because then, to me, that shows that there's an interest in this game in North America, and a company believes that a game like this can be successful enough to put out a physical like this. Well, like, if what, I, what it would be. So, that, if anything, that is a very high positive if there is. If there isn't, then... Well, you could always import it, I guess. I have no idea how expensive this version of the game, this physical version, is going to be in the future. Because uh, it's already kind of pricey now. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll say it was kind of weird. There's only the collector's edition. There's always the premium edition, quote-unquote, on the box, at least is what it calls itself. But uh, there's only that version. There's not just like a standalone copy version of the game. You have to get this collector bundle with the physical copy in it to get it. It's weird. I don't know what the deal about that is, but yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Just trying to think what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this month. So I'm going to keep playing this. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what, uh, happens with the other things I have planned at the moment. I recently got the, I, I've been traveling for the past couple weeks and such, going to places and such, uh, far away. And I found this gift shop 
out in the boondocks somewhere that had this little wooden chest. Like a tiny, it could fit in like the palm of your hand. It's just this cutesy little artisan chest. And uh, they had these little porcelain figures of birds. So <laughs> I recently have acquired a little treasure chest full of porcelain birds. There's a cardinal in there. There's a crane, like a, uh, what is it? Uh, God, what, I'm forgetting what it is. A bluebill crane in there. And, well, not, not a crane, a heron. Uh, why am I saying crane? I was like, there's a different word for what I'm trying to say. A blue heron. Attentions, please. Attention. This is the final boarding call. All aboard to go aboard. Abroad. So I have a... I have a blue heron, a cardinal, and a bluebird in this little wooden chest I have on a shelf. It's a bird, it's a, it's a chest of birds. And I'm annoyed they didn't have, and don't, uh, they didn't have a, um, uh, seagull. Because the seagull is my logo for my photos and such. And I was look, I was looking for one, and they don't make one, so. Yeah, that sucks. So I have to go in here. Paging passenger Turner, your group is boarding. Your estimated time of arrival is the morning after tomorrow. That's one and a half rotations of the clock. Setting course for Bali Bali Island. Let's a go. Today's weather forecast looking good. Hey, we're doing the king's dream. We're flying through the air from birds. <laughs> I just realized that! We're doing his dream! A little travel does warm... does one warm and well. This is your first long voyage. Oh god, am I gonna die? All clear on the right, all clear on the left. I think my character's gonna die. He said it's the morning after next. We're traveling for a while, I think. Yeah, we're just in here. Okay. Panic! Panic! We're, we're stuck in the cage and gonna die! This bird is gonna kill us. Yeah, the sky's kind of boring. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Want me to sing a song? The journey's so long, the world's so small. This is a death time song. Little Tweety, little Tweet, Tweet, Tweetin' through life. Today a Tweet Tweet, tomorrow a Tweet Tweet. Little Tweety lives to Tweet. How about that? Ah. Uh, uh, Broadway worthy. Yep. Game over. Oh man. Man, that sucks. Well, now I know what that does. Do I still have all the cookies? Yeah, I have some. Alright, let's go get that harp plant again, and I think I'm done for today. <laughs> I think I've had enough of this game's madness. And that should relatively wrap up this first area, I think? If that's how this game progresses. So, let's go check out that plant. I am amused. This game, if anything, really amuses me. For all its, uh... Mm, slight annoyances at times. It is... ...inequivocally entertained me. I hear music, like, around here. There it is. Catch! Ah, yes, we get to listen to the fine music again. Let's go to the shop so we can get the money. 
And, uh... Go back to Granby and save again. Well, I'm gonna go check and see if that boulder will finally move. Well, actually, I don't think it will move until after I get the love from... ...this thing. So may as well go back to Granby. I keep forgetting this bird has hands. Like, it's just becoming normal to me now, and it's not supposed to be normal. Like, sure, of course birds have hands. Got the moon fragment. All right, I'm not aware of any other monsters on the map, unless one of them, for some reason... I thought so, I thought a cutscene was gonna happen. I saw them both in the yard. Can I get the dog the bone? Did that work? No. What happened to the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this just shows my full inventory. So stock just tosses items. I thought it meant, like, stock it in that other inventory, but no. Eat. You can't eat this. <laughs> I tried. I tried it for the stupidity of it. Yeah, let's just sleep. It's for Paul. That's fed in the other. It's for Paul. When they move, that's fed. He love is deep and further. You've reached love level 9, love debutante. For your next level, you'll need three more love. Okay, nothing special happened. In any case, I think I'm done for the day. This has been an interesting introduction to what this game is, and I'm still kind of confused and not sure what it is <laughs> after all this time. Uh, it's an RPG. It feels much more of a weird concept than an actual RPG. Like a, like a traditional one. I feel, this is much more of an artsy concept than it is... ...that. I don't know, it's weird. It's like, I, I feel more, I feel more comfortable calling this an art project than an RPG for some weird reason, which isn't a negative thing in any sort of way. It's just this doesn't really feel like an RPG. It feels like some sort of experiment, but very well done. In any case... We'll figure out what this game is probably by the end of it. <laughs> but for now, I think I've had enough of the madness. I think I've had enough of uh, the bizarreness this game is with dogs that look like clowns and cigarettes and aliens flying and UFOs that I don't even question. It's just part of the world logic at this point. And uh, floating clothes that are supposed to be the protagonist. In any case, 
Thank you for watching and dealing with me constantly dying and retrying concepts to see if they work or not, and that seems to be a kind of core repetitious part of the gameplay, but I think I'll look up uh, a, little in, a little foresight of information next time to see what I'm supposed to do so I can cut down on hours of redoing stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. It's not annoying and constantly dying and such. I found it more annoying when I would lose and die in something like Shenmue. But, uh, yeah, this game is charming and it's entranced me with its weird logic and imagination. So, yeah, we'll, we'll continue next time, I guess. See you later and uh, have a good night. Oh, look, the moon is in the, the dial. Go to bed. It's in the night sky right now outside your window. Go to bed. Oh, oh, even better. Have a good night. <laughs>